Welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abraham. You know my partner, Albert Cameron. Albert, we like high school sports. I mean, this is what we're here for. In the beginning of every show, we like to highlight it. A lot of things going on in this area. A lot of good stuff. Good stuff. And it starts with wrestling. Yeah. 59 consecutive years, Highlands had their tournament. And we knew last year that Matthew Woomer qualified for state from Holland, been out for an injury all year. We're gonna highlight him coming back. His first wrestling in 2020, he went 4-0 in his weight class of 145. Won, won, the, won the, his weight class, and uh, congratulations. I like kids, George, that uh, don't feel sorry for themselves. See, like he, sh- he shot for this, like he had been injured. He said, okay, I'm coming back for this. Yeah, and uh, that's a big thing when your high school's had something for 59 years, and. You know how important it is to probably his uncles yep. and his and his relatives and That's all the a neighbors. Sport. You know, without a doubt, we talk mm-hmm. about it all the time. Right, wrestling is of all the sports, it's a legacy sport. Yeah, you'll see you'll see Uncle Joe in the Hall of Fame. You'll see yeah. cousin Tom in the Hall of Fame, and then you'll see yourself. And uh, in the Top Gun tournament went on at the same time at Alliance High School in Austin. Fifth finish, fourth. That's a quite a finish for all the, for all the great uh, athletes that that wrestle in this this Top Gun tournament. Uh, Colin Roberts was the champion at 126. Congratulations to Colin, Colin as he, he represented Fitch and, and took home a first place medal. I was watching wrestling yesterday. Uh, Ohio State, Nebraska. These guys are all so packed. They look 20 pounds heavier. Like you'll see the guys wrestling 150 some and he looks like he's 180. Yeah, that's they're, a good all, point. they're all muscle and they're dedicated to the point where it's obscene, what the amount of work. Because most of those guys are walking around X pounds heavier. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They oh, don't yes. walk around at 170. Now, dedication was the word George used, and they are uh, these days, like in all sports, but in, in really wrestling. Uh, I have a great friend whose son wrestled from a time he was six years old. They never stop. They go from Roman Greco in the, in the, in the offseason. They go to regular high school wrestling. They go to camps, three camps a summer. Uh, it's a full blast, 12 month a year job now. I call it a job because they have to stay in shape. George talked about how they have to hit this weight class. They have to uh, watch how they, how they take care of the nutrition. It's just full blast doing it the right way. Yeah, I, uh, I'm always amazed. And in that Big Ten, you start messing around with Ohio State and Penn State and Iowa. Yeah, they're all chasing Penn State. Every year, it used to be the Iowa Hawkeyes when we were growing up. Now it's all, all, all Penn State, Ohio State's trying hard. I think it's third number two. Somebody's number. Remember, right around football season, they got upset at Arizona State. Mm-hmm. Penn State did. Yep. Everybody's everybody always chases them. If you get them, oh yeah, you know you you know you're going. You got a chance to win the national yeah. title. And these dudes, like I said, yeah. First of all, they're tough as nails. Secondly, you know whatever it takes to get down there and do it, they do it. One of the things I, I really like about today's style wrestling is the flexibility and the and the moves they make with their with their legs and their arms in right. the air. They can do things now that no one ever thought about getting somebody in a hold uh, off the ground without even knowing it's coming. Uh, they are really they modernized the sport. Talking about modernizing, why the Penguins and YSU are, are trying so hard to win on the road. They went on to this past week against two top teams. They're coming back home at, at the Big League Center eight and zero. Uh, they're going to be challenged at home, no question about it. Uh, they, they, they played all their heart out against Wright State, just couldn't pull it off. Let's see if they continue their ways at home, trying to secure a first-round playoff at the Bigley Center. Uh, one of the things that Coach Calhoun's asking, George. Students. Yeah, let's get some more students out. So yeah. why don't we do that? Why don't we get, we'll only pack at Big, Bigley Center this, yeah. this week for the wise, as they try to continue their undefeated ways. At home. That's something normally winning takes care of, but not, not all. Slippery Rock's won forever. Mm-hmm. Football bouts. It, it, sometimes these kids today, there are, you know, first of all, there's a, a world on their phone that we didn't have. Right. Secondly, there are a million other activities, you know, whether it's lacrosse, indoor track, whatever it is. It's not football, basketball, baseball, no right. longer. No. And, and getting these people out, I hope he does. But short of winning them all, 
even you know, great place locally, Newcastle. Man, when they're winning, they're packed. Right. I saw pictures last week at Westminster. There won't be a lot of people there. No. Yeah, why she's also a lot of commuters. So it's, it's you know, that's, it, the, it, those kind of schools are different. You know, a lot of the places, these big time universities, they're there all year. And uh, YSU has always been a commuter school. And, and we that's good. And we go to Subarock, and there are only two teams with adult fans, Gannon and Indiana, because they're from towns. Yes. The other seven, eight, ten schools, no adult fans no, at all. No, just no, parents. That's good point. Good, good point. Hey, how about the women there? Did they win much? Yeah. The women continue, despite their injuries, still fighting on. Quincy Hatcher has a big game, her career game, with 15 points as they take care of Detroit Mercy. Uh, when you're talking with the women, uh, they're 4-3 in the horizon, 11-7 overall. Uh, what, a, what a great way. You lose your two best players to injuries, and you still have that kind of record. That means Coach Barnes has done a tremendous job of building depth and also, also getting some local players and, and players overseas that have done the job. At well, you said local. They're getting the Majestro growing next year. And someone said to me, I said, she's just going to have to spot up and shoot for them. She's not going to have to bring it up, get that, that, that. She's going to be more effective because she'll have teammates that can bail her out yes. and vice versa. It's a really good point. That, that People don't think about that. When the girls and guys in high school have to do everything for their team, and all yeah. of a sudden now they become more localized in what they do. And the Majestic Girl is a gym rat. Yeah. You, you know, one thing you're going to get there, why she will, when you get her, yeah. is a full blonde practicing four or five times a day. She's that kind of girl, yeah. and that's she's made herself yeah. Yeah, into a player. They'll come back from Indianapolis AAU, and instead of going home, they go to the gym. Yes, she's one of those girls. Uh, real quick, buddy of ours is Division One. I. I won't say where. I'll just say he's a friend of Al and me. Talked to him last night, and they had a day off. Well, seven of them went to another gym and worked out, and I got to thinking, you know, did it tell these high school kids? Well, first of all, these guys are 22. Secondly, that tells me that there were only seven of them that they're not real good either. Right. I would have expected more. Yes. Because this, they're all in at this point. Yes. If they're paying for, like, the guy just made a good point. 111 kids signed for the NFL that could cut them back. Well, last year, 53 of them didn't get drafted. And like the guy was saying on the radio, he said, remember, you're paying it for yourself now. You want to go back to school? You can. Right. But what are you forgetting? Is that money, huh? Right, and that check. Yeah, you'll I'm find out how much it is. Too. That scholarship's yeah. worth a lot of so money. So this, this playing Make good college, decisions, yes. Yeah, because there's, it's so multifaceted. It's not just, you know, the in-season. They work out of season. They have weight training. They Every expect minute. you. And then going to Every class minute. is such a big part of it. If you don't. That, that's like payday when they hand you the, like when you yeah. left here, they gave you a degree yeah. and it set the rest of your life up. Yeah, it's so important that uh, you get good advice. If you're, if, you're, if, that, if you're that kind of player and you're close to being drafted in the NFL, <sighs> you need to get good advice from a variety of people, <clears throat> not just your parents, not just your coach. Now, there's a local guy. We, we have and uh, very, very successful, about as successful as you can be at his level. Right. We have another friend who's an agent, and this guy has delusions that he's getting drafted in the first couple rounds, oh, and he's not. So he needs a plan. These guys, right away, right away, they want to buy a Ferrari. They want to buy a Jeep. And my buddy, who's the agent, says, let's put the brakes on it until you get drafted. Let's see if Sign you get contract. drafted. Yeah, you know, because if you're not invited to the East-West game, and you're not invited to the combine. I don't think you're getting drafted. You're a free agent. You get drafted. You're a free agent. That's there. who you are. And and listen, did either one of us say the guy's no good? No, it's a great. Did player. we say that? Great player. No, it's like this kid last year at Pittsburgh. He was player of the year in Youngstown's Division One A FCS. Mm -hmm. He looked at Pittsburgh by about the fourth game. People were willing to throw in anybody, mm -hmm. and we're not saying he's no good. The duck. The talk about the duck, yeah. right? All right, let's talk Super Bowl. It's set. I think we have one, Al. I think we have one. First of all, I think they're going to get money both ways. Mm -hmm. And just from listening to the radio on the way over, I'm a flipper, you know, every, mm -hmm. how you are. <laughs> I hear a lot of interest for 13 days away. Oh, yeah, that, that would be. I think they, 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 I, do, I think so, too. Yeah, San Fran yeah. And, Can and Kansas City is a is a classic matchup of somebody who wants to run the football down your throat, somebody who wants to throw the ball down the field. It's, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, one that 
who's 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 going to get the script? Who's going to get the lead? Who's going to who's going to be able to play the game they want to play? If you can make if you can make Kansas City play defense for a long periods of time, they'll wilt. And if you can make uh, San Francisco rush that passer fifty thousand times again and die out, it's it's a it's a great game to to uh, analyze. Uh, as as Georgia said, I have no idea who's going to win it. It's a it's a pick game. If you like it, if you can tell who's going to win the game, it's right. going to end up almost close to pick. Yeah. When you yeah. come uh, come out into yeah, one point, not going to decide. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Frisco wants to run, down the, down which keeps throat. the ball from Mahomes. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they want to skate. Yeah, they're, they're like two, two different on, on two ice. different teams. Two uh, different teams. Uh, uh, one thing one thing going in, Kansas City knew they were facing that same thing in Tennessee, so they they knew they saw that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just think San Francisco's defense is way better than Tennessee's. Yeah, uh, so there's a, uh, there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hear what you said. Yeah. I like what yeah. you said. Hey, let me ask you. I, I, it, neither one of us would ever say Mahomes isn't great. I know. But let's great. pull back the hyperbole. Oh, greatest ever. Oh, my God. I, I heard this on the way today, and I, I have water I in my ear. I I, so I, now, if he does it 15 more years, I'll be the first right. guy. Yes. I'm going to jump out in front and say, Boy, is that – he's better than – Elway. Better Elway, than Montana. Better than Montana. The guy better made a good point today. He said, you know, it just reminds me of. The guy said, what? He said, a guy that did that and was flashy and duper and Clayton and never got there again. Marina. Marina. As great as he was. Yeah, it's hard to get – it's not It's not easy to get there every <clears> year. <throat> There's no question about it. Uh, I'll say this about Mahomes. He's playing at the right time to be great because the rule changes are uh, – Immense, okay. made uh, for the quarterbacks. Made for you, the offense. Huh? Offense, yeah. You touch, no, no, you no, touch no, Mahomes. No, I agree. The, the fly is going up. You can't, you can't do anything with the receivers. They, they run down the free, free down there, and down the, and he's playing for a, a really good offensive coach. That's one thing you can say about Andy Reid. He's way ahead of the curve yeah. all the time offensively. It does seem mm -hmm. that way. That's he, he spends all his time on offense. Mm -hmm. He spends all his Did, time on offense. Would you say the games over the weekend were about as expected? An eight-point favorite. And a seven-point favorite, yeah. winning rather. Yeah. Yeah. But they didn't look that way early, uh, the Frisco game. Right. Yeah, Tennessee was at 17-7, so you can't say that. No. No, no that one you can't. But uh, but they, they, they were they were eight and seven-point lines, though. They weren't like this game. This game's a one-point well, This line. game, no, I don't see this game. You know what I'm game. saying? No one knows for sure. That, you, you could no. have at least said, I think Kansas City's going to win. I think San Fran's going to win. And he and I always talk. We'll, we'll have, we may be wrong, but we'll have an opinion. Mm -hmm. I haven't formed one yet. Well, the NFL, I don't have one. Now, I will tell yeah, you straight it, out of the show, for me, to, for me, the NFL yep. is guesswork. Yep. College football, I truly think I know what I'm doing. Yeah. The pros. That we have a buddy that he'll text me, and I'm lucky. I've got like three. I, I told him the other day. I said, "You understand? I'm not any good in the pros." Mm -hmm. I said, "I'll give you what I think will happen." Right. But don't. No, don't go to the bank with it. No, NFL's not for long. No. You know, it's not. Those overs long. yesterday, I did yeah, happen you know, to. Well, oh. everybody takes them. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> yeah, that's true. No. That, yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, Vegas, up. Vegas is made. They push them up. They to winning on unders. That's what they went. They yeah. went on unders. So, so Georgia, don't list us. To, to, we're over betters. Yeah, oh, no, no, the overs no. come in. If I take we an won. under, it, it's got to. I've got to see <laughs> snow or rain. The only way I would ever, if I see it, I'll call them. I go, hey, it's raining, and and more often than not. Oh no question. They well, go over it. Yeah, when I when I saw those scores yesterday, I said, yeah. I know the I know the yeah. monkeys got killed mm -hmm. because yeah. every guy plays overs. That's yeah, there's no doubt about that. That's, yeah. that's that's really simple. Let's talk NCAA hoops. The top teams. You don't want to be the top team. You're going out. Because you're going out. The minute they put you number one, you're going out. But let's talk about that. We've used the word it, parody. Is that a euphemism for not very good? I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't okay. say that. They're still right, good teams. They're just not good great. Team. Okay. There's, there's a difference. Oh, there's no, not, I do understand. There's not great teams. No, the great teams are out. They're dropping like flies. Yeah. There's a lot of 10, there's 10, 10, 12 good teams, but not great teams. A lot of individual stars. Not a lot of teams with... With five guys, which they have a hard time finding five because they leave. They leave early, and they, you know, it's hard to find so five. So Duke gets beat Saturday. I mean, we don't. Not even, a thought in my mind. At home, normally when Duke lost at home, it was news. Mm -hmm. Not a thought. anybody anybody loses. All you got to know is Baylor's number one. The, th the thought that if you had said this in the last twenty years, that the number one team in the country would be the Baylor. Bears. Baylor. I had a buddy that went to the Rivers yesterday to play him at twelve to one. I saw a thing there. I said. 
Good chances any. I mean, I don't well, think any, any of them are good chances any. Yeah, twelve to one. I'll say one thing about Blaine. I'll say Drew is playing man to man. He he yeah. played that two three zone forever. Oh, yeah. one, Decided yeah, to play, yeah. play man to man this year. They're really playing hard. I'll give him credit. How about Auburn? That. How about Auburn? They're not. They don't have the talent they had last year. You know, so they, he he'll be in they, the tournament. They played the worst schedule. In the he country. won't be. They'll be okay. surprised if they get there. Okay. Major surprise. No, I get it. Their talent level's not near. Yeah. Last year they had three pros. Now, how many, let's say you went down to the mall today, and you just grabbed fifty people. So who's the only undefeated team in college basketball? Could eight people tell you? I'd say no. My guess is that they wouldn't be able to call San Diego State. They, you know, they'd be guessing Duke, Kentucky. Okay. You know. Okay. So there'd yeah. be a guess. And San Diego State's not going to win it either. They're going out also. So yeah. We, I wrote the word parity somewhere. It came to my head. It seems like it's, it's good ruling. It's, it's, now, do we have ten or fifteen teams? Yeah, I've been saying that. Oh, did you hear that? Fifteen. Yeah. I said I said fifteen to twenty. So right. we'll see. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll, Usually I say there's somewhere between two and two and six. Okay, we're going to look at it. And we've been on here now a lot of years. And one of the things we say, we usually look and we say, well, there are some great players, but they're not staying. Mm -hmm. Make somebody's a casual fan. They're all going or think they're good enough to go to the NBA. A lot of them end up in the G League. A lot of them end up at the YMCA playing a 10 o'clock game. Yeah, and they are. They're great players, but they're just not good enough for the NBA. And as George oh. called me the other night, he said, you got to see this individual talent. Oh, nah, nah, nah. They are. They're individual talent beyond belief. It was the Lakers and you. They're freaks. And, they, you know, they charge up for each other. Uh, now you got the beard out there. you got right. LeBron. There's some ego involved. Right. And all of a sudden, they're not backing up on every possession, and they're digging in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this LeBron James is tremendous. 35 years old. Yeah, he looks like he's 20, I know. Of course, he's, he's got a that man child. body. Like, yeah, he nobody has a body like him. Yeah, drop, that's true. Twist. That's why he's so great. Nobody can do things. No. He can run the four one step. Was he six eight? Yes. Probably about two sixty. <laughs> All muscle. About All four muscle. percent body fat. All muscle. Drinking a glass of wine on the way to the games. <laughs> uh, we do agree on something though. The one and done's have weakened the game. Oh yes. He that's called me one night. He said, "You got to see this show on Jimmy V. They brought the or, or Duke. One, I watch them both. Right." They start showing game film. And there's Ralph Sampson. There's Chris Mullen. There's Pearl Washington. And I'm looking at them. We don't have that. They all played four years. That's oh, why. That's oh, why. They, and that's play. Why. Yeah. They all played four years. That's, that's the way that works. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk NCAA football. We haven't been on since the title game. Joe Burrow. He Number just set deck. three generations of Burrows up for life financially. <laughs> he did. And... This guy, where he, now, the only thing I'll say, one caveat, he's two years older than the Ravens quarterback. That's that? the only caveat I can give you because he wouldn't have gotten out of Ohio State if he knew they, they knew he was that good. No one knew he was this good. No one. They're well, lying. I'm saying no one. Yeah. I, say, I said no one. No one. He no wouldn't idea. have gotten out of Columbus. And it was a perfect, perfect storm. Okay. We came into a guy that came in and put an offense in. Directly for him. Pro receivers. With, with unbelievable pro receivers and a pro running back. And they threw it every down. And uh, you could tell his touch is velvety. He can move. He can move in the pocket. He has all the, all the right qualities for that offense. And you got to give him credit that he hung in there, didn't pout, and made himself, mm -hmm. a, duo, made himself a duo. I Like you said, I, uh, I agree with you. Number one pick in the hey, draft. Can we say some humility? Not that he's not confident. But he's not a ridiculous pounder of the I chest. I saw him wearing sunglasses. That bothered me. Oh, you know, so yeah, I, we, I, I, but I'll tell know. you what. We stopped like at sunglasses. <laughs> We're in trouble. Well, that's me. These okay. dudes. I go to these. I watch these NBA games. It's nighttime indoors. Well, that was Burrow. That's what and I'm these saying. bums got sunglasses. When he sunglasses. had the sunglasses on in nighttime. No. So that, that, Joe, that don't, me, Joe, that don't do it. You were think. so great. That makes me think Don't that. do it, Joe. Please. Because <laughs> you... Believe me, the world's at your feet. He he's governor of Louisiana. I'm figuring he's got to build it because his dad was a coach. I'm, I'm you know usually yeah. I think a, a coach's yeah. son yeah. has a little thought. Yeah, the brothers process. play at Nebraska. Yeah. They'll knock the poop yeah, out I'm of him too uh -huh. if he gets too cocky. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. But no, you're right. He's first pick, but once again, it's been the ruin of many a poor. B Where do you go? The Bengals. Yeah, he's going to a team that's not as good as LSU. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, I'm talking about a receiver. Not I, the whole thing. I'm like, he, he, yeah, we know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. I, I'm serious when I say he's gonna he, he's he's going to be running for his life. He never ran for his Kiffin life. Kiffin Clarton's our best receiver. Yeah, boy, boys are best. Yeah, unless like, our producer made a point. AJ Green comes back. Yeah, but he agreed with her for forever. Years. No, yeah, no. But he'll be running for his life, and uh, it's not easy throwing from your back. 
Ask Anthony Brady. Knows, Brady knows. Ask anybody who's gets, who plays quarterback. That's the way that works. That's a good point. That's a good. These coaches are filling their staffs this time of year. I think the interesting one. I hate to say it because I don't care for either one particularly, but one I'm in particular. The Mississippi Mississippi State. This egg bowl now with these guys are characters. They are. If characters. you can call Leach, say what you want about the air raid. There's a ton of them around. He's a character. And this other guy, I don't even Kiffin like. Kiffin is. Kiffin he's is. a character too. They both have personality. There's no question about yeah. it. So they yeah. both be able to recruit, but they're getting into a, a, a league that they're the other personnel is better than they. Yeah, well, let's just think about Alabama. national champion. We don't even name him first. first. We don't even Auburn. name LSU first. <laughs> LSU. You know who's loaded next year? Low debt. I'm gonna say it right now. Jimbo. Is he? A&M they're all back. They're all back. No, he's, he's hurting for running backs. Georgia. Because a bunch of them, oh, yeah, well, that's just in their half. Right. Georgia and Florida, they got to do it. Florida. And this guy has already made Florida. This guy, he, this guy knows what he's doing. Uh-huh. Mullen. Yeah, Mullen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got two yeah, good Yeah, he left Mississippi right? State. I mean, yeah, that's a, to go there. So he knew it was a step up at Florida. You could recruit outside your door. Stark you know, Vegas, players. they call it. Stark Vegas. Uh-huh. How about NBA hoops? I'm listening today and. They're falling all over LeBron, and rightfully so. I mean, they're, they're playing in the league 17, 18 years at that ridiculous, right. you know, quality. What do you, but I, they talk Lakers, they talk Clippers. Are they under rating or just skimming over the Bucks? I hope they're not. And they shouldn't be. Those oh, are the three teams. Oh, that, oh, he, and those are the three teams that can win it. Yeah. I, 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 right now, if you ask me, can any other team come close to any of those three, I'd say no. Hey, Al, he went in I the, have nobody else. The freak went in the other night, Al, and he dribbled in. He got about right underneath. So I think he's going to come up with the reverse right hand on the left side. He reaches back this way, Al, that's and throw it up. That's that freak. I was stunned. Yeah, that's the freak. They, they do, can do things around the hoop. And, and once again, in the, in the playoffs, so they'll back off of him. Make him shoot the and basketball. He, last year, he didn't handle a double team he worth a darn. He couldn't handle it. He, so. he was not We'll find out if he, if he gets better for that. I mean, I have to pick the Lakers. I mean, even though Milwaukee can beat them, I'll take the Lakers. When I have Davis and, and James on the same team, it's yeah. just hard for me to believe that somebody can beat that. And, and wait a minute. You're not, it's not like Kuzma's garbage. Oh, no. And you know who's no. underrated in that team? The dude from A&M, which kind of young, bald. Caruso. Yeah, Caruso. Yeah, he can play too. Can they, he jump? And Howard's playing really hey, good. Hey, can he jump? Yeah, How about they have Howard? They yeah. have McGee. They have like eight, bodies. 18 they get the bodies. fouls. They get the They're just going to foul you. Yeah, they get he, the bodies. He in blocked there. a dunk the other night. They got It would have made Wilt Chamberlain proud. Yeah, they got bodies in there. Big people. Yeah, yeah. big people. Yes. I agree. A zillion. Yeah. And I, I, I still have to say the old man in me comes out watching Houston. Analytic. And we forget about them. That's An- right. Analytic. Oh, it, Oak City's the one that this daggone Chris Paul. There's some stat about your contribution in the fourth quarter. He's by far the best. Chris Paul. Yeah. Doesn't play that in the playoffs. And I don't like him. Yeah, he doesn't play that in the playoffs. But but, but he has the ball now. Okay. Before he didn't have the basketball. Okay. Now he, he, yeah. he, he owns the ball in the Good fourth point. quarter for them now. Uh, yes. The analytics, you know, we don't like. And one of the reasons I've seen hard and cold in the playoffs because the D ramps up. Someone mm-hmm. said, what are you talking about? Yeah, I said, I know what he averaged during the season. I know. But they get three and four game road trips, get in at two in the morning, they're at the casino. Who knows right. what they're doing? I, believe me, they're it's doing different. it. Yeah. It's different. Regular playoffs, NFL, I think they're uh, getting yeah, NBA regular season is completely yeah. different yeah. than the playoffs. Now, the XFL, it's starting up here. When does it start, George? Uh, pretty quick, another month or so. Another month, okay. Uh, Will America accept spring football? There'll be people out there will. I don't, but, 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 but I think there's people out there. That, What's the key? Love, getting that, a betting that, line that on it at the football. rivers? I don't know. I don't Is that know, the key I, I you know. think? <laughs> I, don't know that, your... I don't know if that'll do it or not. We think football, we think fall. Because the reason it doesn't mean because I'm a gambler and, it doesn't, it, and, and I don't care about it. You, know you know what I thought about, Al? This is funny. This is a, I'm thinking the other day. You can't beat them in the NFL It's because they know uh-huh. too much. College, you got a chance because there's 100 and some teams. They can't know them like they know the 30 pro teams. How about these teams? If you really dedicated yourself, could you beat them to the punch early if they had numbers because they don't know either? My, I'd say no. They kn- I think I think Vegas right now is. They're on it. No, right now. They're, they know way more than we know about They're it. on it. They would never put it up. If they thought they were getting taken advantage of. Or they ever, never. They'd see that. No, they would know me. All right. That's when what they I might limit bets. You know, they might yeah, say yeah, yeah. highest, highest we get. $100 on I the get game it or something completely. like that. We have about uh-huh. five minutes. I have a lot of miscellaneous stuff to talk about. MMA, Conor McGregor comes back after years. They set some kind of 
major mark for the amount of money they brought in. And it, what it does, it sets up his next fight. He finishes a guy in 40 seconds. You know what I thought about this, George? Yeah. Come here, I listen to you. George knows this, I don't know it. Yeah. And I got, a, I got a controversy with George's comment on this one. You told me they don't do that. You told me there's always they always make the well, big matches. Yeah, they, they well they and but this they, one they well, did not. Well, they didn't know he would beat them that quickly. Oh. This Cerrone is known to be with your shoulder on it. They never dreamed it'd be forty seconds. Oh, see, because that's because that, that remember you told me you go to used to go to see. Yeah, uh, what I like Tyson. the best is they put good fights. Yes, on. yeah. And you good guys fight good. Guy. Yeah. I didn't go my George. And yeah. I, I laughed that night. Said yeah. George told me yeah. all good fights. Well, it was over in forty seconds. Well, hey, I'll say that again. Hey, yeah. Hey, Some, didn't somebody pay money to go watch that? Yeah, but there were like all night bouts. Oh, that. But I'm saying that's when they went to see. Don't you think or not? Well, I don't yeah, know. I'm there, were, there were others. There were others. But yeah. But here's the thing. Forty seconds. A head kick, Al. Forty seconds. I know, but if you'd have seen that head kick. But I'm saying I mean, to you, no one if somebody take that. pays money. I know, but there but were like I said, seven or eight other fights, and everyone was there. Tom Brady, you know. I know. I saw. I was there. Oh, they yeah. don't care. They'll yeah. throw the money away. Yeah, or I'm someone with somebody like us. Yeah. Oh no. No, somebody. No, else. you rented it for eighty dollars. You, 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 you get. <laughs> so, I heard a guy say a story today. It was funny. He said he was watching a fight, and in his apartment building, someone came to the outside door. You know those ones where you have to buzz them yes. in the outside. He went to buzz them in the outside door, and the fight was over. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, and I, and I fell asleep one night when I paid for it. That was the last time. <laughs> it. I learned my lesson. All right, let's talk Major That's League Baseball. We've got a few minutes left. I heard a guy say the other day, you know, one time horse racing was on the top. One time boxing was on the top. Yeah, and were. the shady nature of boxing, this fight was fixed. Baseball can't afford this. No, that's all they're talking about right now. Yeah. yeah they're not they're talking cheating. About, they're not talking about spring training at all. They're cheating, Albert. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 had a, had a, something to do with uh, uh, the scandal of what 1919 and yeah, the same uh, way here. You're gonna, you're gonna, see job. where it goes. We're gonna be more to bad news goes. every day. Agree? Every day. Uh, every now, day. if it involved buzzers, and they look, are they gonna prove that too? That's what I'm saying. How they're gonna have to go back and take frames apart and look at. Yes. Them. I thought I saw something on TV. I told. I you. did see that too. Yeah, but I, I don't. Know. But I I did I thought, read his lips I saying, "Don't rip my shirt." Hot, 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 don't rip my shirt off. Jeez. I mean, you could see him telling him, "Don't oh, rip." My. Maybe you know whatever reason. How? Who knows why he didn't want his uh, shirt ripped off? Now this brings a question. A couple minutes left. Pete Rose. He's never getting in. Doesn't it make what he did look less harmful? Yeah, it does. But he's still not getting in. He's not getting in. No, he's not getting in. Well, Pete's not getting in. My wife would like to see him get in, yeah. but he's not getting in. Could I ask you which is worse? Peter the Astros and Al Campman's mind? <sighs> the Astros are worse to me. And, you know, that's, More cheating. Yeah. Is, that, you know, know, cheating is... The fabric for, of the game. For me, it's... Okay, no, no, yeah. no. I, that's yeah, why I asked. it would be. No, no. I, I, that's why I... Because he never bet against his team. If he bet against his team, it's the same thing. That we when know. that's the proof of that, that's what they prove. That's yeah, what I, yeah, I don't I'm going by proof. I, I don't believe him in that either. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know what losers do. They'll bet in the sun coming up. Yes. I got a buddy. It's the truth. He, he couldn't pick his nose. Yes. Uh, no players punished. That's how afraid they are of the players' right. union. That tells you a lot about Marvin Miller. That's how powerful the players' union. Doesn't it tell you? Right? Right? And yes. once again, I got to bring this name up, Tony La Russa. That's your boy. You know, I Another one of your boys. Well, here he is. He's in the league office, probably bringing down a half a million dollar salary. McGuire and, and uh, Kitsako aren't in, not that they would, but either way. He got in off the sweat off their backs, but they're not allowed in. Right. Now they say he was cheating. Jack McDowell said he was cheating in the 80s at the White Sox. Wouldn't Sox's. surprise us, would it? No. No, it wouldn't surprise us for, for him. No, One last surprise. item. They're throwing money at Romo, like the national debt of a third world country. I don't care for him. I know a lot of people like him. My gosh, should he grab that? Yeah, he'll, he'll grab it. He'll grab it. I'm shocked if he's not working. Monday Night Football. Booger will be shocked. up in that crate again. Yeah. Yeah. Booger will be out. Hey, thanks again for watching Bottom Line Sports Talk. We'll see you next week.